me now is Zara Bulu, the executive director of San Francisco chapter of the Council of American Islamic Relations. And back with me to discuss is Yamish Alcindor and Ann Guerin. Our thanks to all of you. Before we get started, though, I do want to show you what really started all of this. The Congresswoman's comments at a civil rights event last month. Care was founded after 9-11 because they recognized that some people did something and that all of us were starting to lose access to our civil liberties. So many are saying that her comments were taken out of context and what is the end goal here? Why are they running with this? Well, from the certainly for uh, from the president's perspective, he sees this as a as a slam dunk way to to tar not only uh, Ilhan Omar but but other congressional Democrats uh, as unpatriotic, uh, to put it politely. Uh, and her point and that of her defenders is that she was making a much more subtle point about fear and about inclusion in this country. Uh, and although she's wrong on the facts about when care was formed, her her point it is really pretty clear and well understood when you watch the whole video she's you know she's saying that that it is not fair and it's not right uh, and for Muslims generally in the United States uh, to all be the subject of, of suspicion because of 9-11 I mean a, saying some people did some things might not be the most artful way to, to express that mm -hmm. but the meaning of what she said is quite clear if you listen to the whole thing versus the little clip that was contained in the president's video. Yeah, and Zara, some of uh, the Congresswoman's closest friends, including Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez there in, on Capitol Hill, tweeted out support for the Congresswoman among them, saying AOC here, members of Congress have a duty to respond to the president's explicit attack today. Speaker Pelosi also released a statement today. Um, however, it didn't mention the representative by name. Should it have? Are, are the Democrats coming to her defense enough? Speaker Pelosi's tweet, I mean, not even a formal statement, her tweet, which came 14 hours after the president was inciting violence against Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, is disappointing. She says, he should not. We shouldn't do this. And it's like, no, condemn it. It's an incitement to violence. He is taking her words out of context and cutting and pasting them with really painful images of a tragic terrorist attack that all of us experience, that all of us continue to suffer the consequences of. And he's showing it to millions of people. That video on Twitter now has over 7 million views. The White House just posted it on Facebook through the formal White House page. And all Speaker Pelosi says is he shouldn't. No, condemn it. Name her. She's living through death threats. And then condemn him for inciting violence against one of the first Muslim women in Congress. And speaking of that, I mean, do you think that the sort of heat that she's getting is because specifically she's Muslim? If any other member of Congress, short of Tlaib, um, had said these same words, would they have gotten the same sort of blowback we've seen in the last two weeks. I mean, this video is coming from a president who himself has bragged about having the tallest building in Manhattan as a result of the 9-11 attacks. If that itself is not evidence of the hypocrisy, I, I don't know what else it takes. This is a woman of color, a black woman. This is a Muslim woman. This is someone who wears a headscarf and she's living through death threats. She is experiencing a double standard and, and hypocrisy at its highest. And. Um yeah, that was one of the things that many people are noted that in the moments after 9-11, the president uh, mentioning that he does have the tallest building now after the towers went down. Um, Representative Tlaib was also reacting. Here's what she had to say. And the fact that these people are irresponsibly taking those words out of context and endangering the life of Rep. Omar is is immoral is wrong and it needs to be called out by many of my colleagues not just myself and saying that they need to stop stop targeting her this way it's it's absolutely putting her life in danger so you be i mean the representative there talib is also muslim one of two there in congress that's muslim um how come she hasn't come under as much fire as uh representative omar 
I think if you ask the representative, she would say that she has been coming under fire and that she has been someone that feels like she's been targeted unnecessarily because she was a woman of color. Um, I think back on that idea that she was calling out when, when one of the representatives um, during a hearing with Michael Cohen brought out an African-American woman and she said, you know, this looks, people shouldn't be used as props. She got a lot of pushback for that. She got a lot of pushback when she also cursed talking about the president. So I think AOC, Representative Omar, Representative Tlaib, they have been saying and sounding the alarm that they feel like they're they're being criticized more than so than other m members of Congress and more so than the president because they have these this identity as women of color. I think that the thing that Nancy Pelosi is really trying, the, the line that she's trying to thread here is the fact that the president wants to have these kinds of fights. The president sees these people, these members of Congress, I should say, as a way to have boogie women, as a way to fundraise. We have the Ohio College Republicans sending out fundraising letters talking about these women. And the president has, has made socialism and talking about their policies um, part of his 2020 campaign. So I think Nancy Pelosi is trying to figure out how to deal with this from a political point of view. Um, and then, of course, there's also this idea that there are all sorts of people, including grassroots Democratic voters, who see these three women as the future of the party and see them as being targeted and feel deeply personal about the way that they are having mm -hmm. to weather this because there are people all over the country who feel the same way. Well, I appreciate you all being here, all of you, Yamish, Alcindor, Ann Garen, and Zara Bilu. Thank you, guys. Well, still ahead.